here at Simba Nyaima, which is a crater lake that is legendary to the Luo people. I'm Jora Morex. Mm -hmm. I'm arrested from this place. The lake you are seeing, all the water you are seeing before here, uh, this was once a village. That's where the East Sea dictated that it was a village known as Kawaswa. With the resident of his own, hmm? there came a woman from Guase who interacted with the resident of Kawaswa. Never pleased the resident as he was looking ugly. Made the resident chase her away as he was leaving this resident. Hmm. She passed the village by bringing rain, telling the resident that if you never welcome me, then I want to be destroy your well and everything that you're celebrating here. Mm -hmm. That is when the rain, rain until the old village that was built up in submerged and the name was left Simbinyam. Simbinyam is a collective of traditional houses that was submerged here. But this lake is medicinal and if at all you can even view the visitors who are coming here, they're coming for the water. Because the pH value of this lake is 10.26 and the salinity, the water content is 17.01. That's why it automatically acts as a base. So whenever you have got fungal infection, it has to kill. We have just arrived at Mbita. We will take a ferry that will take us all the way to Takawiri Island. So where I'm standing right now is the bridge that connects Mbita to Singa Island. Back on a journey that will take around one hour to one hour thirty minutes. The Takawi Island. It's going to be a long journey.
So we've just arrived in Takawiri Island. And as you can see, there's the sun behind us. So yesterday, this is the following day actually, yesterday we came to Takawiri Island and we were really tired. We couldn't even explore the place. So we decided to do that today. But the weather is cloudy so we might not experience it as much as we would love to because of the... There is cloudy but we'll try to explore then later on we'll go to Fangano which is actually this island here so one thing we, not, we noted is that uh, in Takawiri island there is no electricity but in Fangano there is electricity so we are preserving our power for now today this is the place where we camped <laughs> well. This is the place where we camped uh, the whole night. We pitched our tents here. And it rained. But luckily, it didn't. It's, it's, this place is sandy, so it wasn't that much of a problem. So we have just packed our tents. And we are ready to go now explore Takawiri. Then later on, we'll go to the Mpangano Island. <laughs>
just arrived at Mangano Island at Siambi Resort. So we have decided to go to that hill. Try to hike the hill, catch the sunset, and then we bike by around 7. Hmm? The Lake Victoria behind us. This other side, Uko. There's a path here. This is the view of Lake Victoria from Fangano Island. <laughs> yeah. It's getting harder now. This is the resort that you are in. Uku! Nalera Nyuku! Nendo Kunyuma! Sawa! Asante! So there are some kids here telling us that we, we have used the wrong route. Here, they said you have used the wrong route, heading to the top of this hill. So we are, we are going to try use this other side to get the other side. I don't know if it makes sense, but that's the situation. So we have decided to call it a day, because past this place, just tickets. Uh -huh. There's no path that can lead you to the top of this mountain. So, we're going to go back. Back all the way to the resort Where down there. This is the third day and we are going to explore the island a little bit and then leave using the water bus. In this island you have you are scheduled us to align with that of the water bus, otherwise you'll miss it because it only comes twice, thrice in the morning, midday and in the evening. So you have to align with that. The one the, the, the water bus that takes you now from this islands, from this island to the mainland so we are going to explore the island a little bit before it reaches that time and then we come back and then leave north the mainland and call it a day here with the guys who made this trip possible and he's going to talk about what it's all about and share with you guys uh, i'm dan nodero uh, and i work with dala adventures and travel we are a tour company and operator from Kisumu. Our uh, office are based in Holo, Pawakuche, just in the outskirts of uh, Kisumu city. Um, this weekend we came out to discover some of the islands uh, on Lake Victoria. Uh, and we managed to visit Takabiri Island and uh, now we are at Mfangano Island where we are actually wrapping up the trip. Um, it's been an amazing experience finding out more about Takawiri Island because uh, we'd never done a trip to Takawiri Island. So we came and explored the island and uh, we learned a lot about it. And uh, as we go back, uh, we are now certain that we can 
create a package that brings you to this side of, of Lake Victoria. Yeah, so um, um, from Takawiri we came into Mfangano, which is actually, it takes actually 20 to 15, 20 to 25 minutes of uh, water bus uh, transfer. Uh, and uh, we, one of the things that we realized is that uh, there's a huge difference between the, the two islands in as much as they are very close together. Yeah, but um, we are glad we came and uh, from the footage you made we know that we are going to, we are going to see more of what the two destinations are all about.